Hi, welcome to Padai Planet, and we've got another question from Circles. I'm here now sharing my screen so that we can take it up. Yes, this is the question which we are going to work out now. Yeah, right. So the question says that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at point E, right? And they've given the values of angle DBC, that's 70 degree, and angle BAC, that's 30 degree. We need to find out angle BCD, right? And they also have then, you know, further uh, question here, and that's like, if AB is equal to BC, then we need to find out angle ECD, right? Now, first, let's find this out, right? And then we'll take up the second part of the question. So first of all, let's get the, you know, question drawn here on, on this uh, circle. And let's have this quad, quadrilateral, that's A, B, C, D. So we will draw this here. So suppose this is how it is. And yes. And it's a cyclic quadrilateral. That means all the four points of the, all the four vertices of the, you know, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, they will lie on the circle here. Now let's quickly name them. And suppose this is A, right? And that's on the circle and this is B. And then we have C and then we have D here, right? Now what it's saying is that uh, the diagonals are intersecting at point E. So let's have the diagonals first of all. So let's have the diagonal AC. And the other one is BD. That's the diagonal. Let me just redraw it for you so that it looks better. Yes. Yes, much better. And this point is the intersection point and that's E, right? Now, the question says that angle D, B, C, D, B, and then C, that means this angle. This is how much? This is 70 degree. So we'll just put it here, 70 degree. Then it's saying that angle B, A, C is 30 degree and angle B, A, C is B, A, and then C. So that means it's talking about this angle and that's 30 degree, right? Now what we need to find out is angle B, C, D. Angle B, C, and D. And that's angle B, C, D. This complete angle. This is what we need to find out. Now, as we have been using uh, the same segment theorem of a circle, so we'll use the same here as well. And that's like, pretty easy. Uh, if we consider the chord for the chord BC, right? B, this is B and C, right? This complete chord. The two angles which are being made on the same segment of the circles are this one and this one, right? You can see that this chord is making one angle like this right and the other angle which it's making is like this we can simply write that for chord bc the same segment angles the same segment right the same segment angles are let's name them let's put them here angle c a b right that's one angle this one cab and the other one is angle uh, cdb now as per the theorem these two angles will be same and equal to each other right they'll be equal to each other because they are on the same segment of the circle right so if this is 30 degree then obviously this is going to be 30 degree and we can simply write it here that this is 30 degree and now we will observe the triangle DCB. So we will observe this DCB. And 
we will simply use our theorem that angle in any uh, you know triangle the sum of all the um, angles of any of the triangle is always equal to 180 degree so what we can do is we can find out this angle from this relationship and we will write angle dcb is equal to 180 degree minus this one which is 30 degree right and this one so that means 30 degree minus 70 degree so the value comes to 80 degree that means our this angle is 80 degree this complete angle right now we have solved this angle bcd angle bcd this complete angle is 100 and oh, sorry it's 80 degree this is what we have found out and now as a second part of this question they're saying if ab is equal to bc a b is equal to bc that means this is equal to this right so what we need to do is we need to find out the angle ecd we need to find out e c and d so that means we need to find out this particular angle now it's very simple that if we can further consider this triangle you know then we see that since these two are equal to each other ab is equal since ab is equal to bc that means uh, you know uh, this triangle is an isosceles triangle and we also know that in an isosceles triangle the angles which are opposite to the equal sides that means that means angle you know a c b and angle c a b right they will be equal to each other and that's the property of uh, of an isosceles triangle right that these two angles will be each other equal to each other that means if this one is 30 degree which is b a c right so this one is 30 degree so obviously this is going to be 30 degree right so this part of the angle is 30 degree and we need to find out the this part right so we can simply write the value of angle ecd is equal to total angle that's angle d c b minus angle e c b or we can say a c b right a c b we just found out the value of angle a c b and we had also found out the value of angle d c b which is this so we'll simply write 80 degree minus 30 degree right and the final answer comes as 50 degree right so this is how we have solved this question i hope you guys understood it and also enjoyed it Keep watching these videos. I am coming up with more and more videos of the entire book for the grade 10th of all the boards, CBSE, ICSE, and IGCSE. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and bye-bye.